welcome aboard the Airbus A330-200 series. Um, today I'll be using the A330-243. It's the Rolls-Royce Trans 700 variant. Okay, so um, well, yeah, we're getting ready to release the aircraft, and here here's a, a small tutorial on a flight from uh, flight from Frankfurt to Munich. Um, in this video, I'll be now I'm showing you how to do the flight planning, etc. for the flight. Okay, so I'm um, going to be right back inside the flight aircraft now. Alright, um, we're inside now and this is the aircraft. I mean the flight deck. Okay, so let's start by getting some power um, to run the instruments. I'm going to go to the overhead panel view and turn on my external power in the electrical panel. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go back here. Um, you'll see that the instruments are turned on. I'm gonna go to weather, find my QNH 30.03. I'm gonna put it in here. 30.03. Yeah, you should notice that the altimeter is slightly changed. Okay, so. Okay, now let's get to the fight planning. Uh, this is the MCDU multi-purpose control and display unit. I'm gonna t um, turn it on by rotating the brightness knob to full. Okay, so click on data and aircraft status. So if you're using a company route, make sure that the company route code is uh, on the active nav, nav database. If you're not, you don't have to worry about it. Um, by, the, by default, the database is MIA data version 3.1, but you could replace it with your own roots or change the database, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go to init to initialize my root. As you're not using a company root, I'm gonna leave that empty. I'm gonna go to from to and eddf slash eddm. There we go. Company route not available in an empty flight plan insert. So I'm gonna put in some uh, flight number. Well, I'm, I'm just using a random flight number UE because it's Emirates. I'm just uh, I'm using the Emirates livery. So now cruise flight level and temperature. So uh, I was asked to do the flight at 250, uh, uh, 25,000 feet. And the temperature there is approximately negative 36 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to do negative 36 and enter it. A uh, very realistic cost index of 32 should do. Okay, now I'm going to go to pro, uh, the flight plan. Okay, like um, you see that it's initialized an empty flight plan from Frankfurt to Munich. There's there are no waypoints in between. So what we're gonna do is put the waypoints. So um, I had this flight plan mapped out earlier. I'll I put it in this. Uh, I'll put it in the description. So I'm gonna click on click here to go to lateral revision for Frankfurt. Now to okay, I'll, let me explain this thing. You click here to go to uh, to select the departure procedure. We'll do that um, later. Now um, you if you type a uh, enter type a waypoint and put it here. It's gonna add that as the next waypoint. If you if you click here, then it's gonna um, it's gonna make your new waypoint the new destination. That so everything after that's gonna be removed. And direct to for a waypoint is asking the aircraft to fly direct to that waypoint. Not, nothing else in between. It's sort of like jump to the route manager. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my waypoints. Nike. Lag. Ram. Okay, so that's all for now. I'm gonna return and see that all our waypoints are there. It's only four. It's a very short flight. Now, uh, as you can see, all the times are all the times are thirty. Um, to get proper time and fuel prediction, we're gonna have to enter our speeds and altitudes. 
so uh, we're gonna be cruising by Lopney so I'm just gonna put in 250 slash um, 14,000 feet at NAQ and 0.7 Mach at 25,000 feet here again 5,000 go down Oops. Okay. So we're done. Oh wait, EDDM. I wanna put it in. Um, you know, you can, we can just leave that. Doesn't matter. All right. So it says the total flight time is gonna be about 49 minutes. That's what it's expecting. So let's go up. Click on EDDF departure. Now it's gonna load. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna depart on runway 18, and my SID will be a neck 6 6L. Six Insert. So you see EDDF 18, which means that your departure is set. Now for arrival, click on destination, arrival, 26 right. Let's see. Bura 1A. That's the one that starts at Bura, which is our last waypoint. And insert it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we go back to init. And next. So total trip time is 49, and it requires only six blocks of fuel. But I'm gonna start at 45 blocks. I'm gonna keep 20 blocks in reserve. Okay, 20 blocks in reserve, and there's uh, there's an extra 19 blocks, which is okay. I mean, it is a short flight, and right. So if you go to fuel and payload, um, I've emptied everything with a fuel truck, including tanks. I'm gonna calculate how many blocks is this. So 45 multiplied by 804 to get the kilograms. That is 36,180. So. I'm going to get fuel truck controls 46,000 fuel Okay, so um, It started fueling the aircraft we can wait for that to happen. Okay So now um Next is progress. So this Just tells you the progress of your flight um, now here's the GPS accuracy. You can use this to toggle between high and low, but I usually keep it at low because it uh, it ensures a smooth transition between waypoints. And I'm just gonna put a DDM so that I can check. And if I want to manually fly, I can just follow this BRG and distance in case something happens. Okay, so performance. Okay, we won at. 45 blocks is approximately 138, V2 is 144, and I mean V rotation speed is 144, and V2 is 155. Um, you need to, okay, refueling complete, have a nice flight, okay, so uh, you need to put these in here for, for, for it to announce to you, but um, it doesn't matter if it's not there. Next phase, okay, so now action mode. There are two types of managed action modes. One is to get the data from the flight plan, and the other is to use the data you put in your performance page per face. So I, I mean, we didn't really, you know, put anything in our flight plan properly. I just put it in, put some random things, so it helps in calculating uh, the fuel required. So I'm going to use the performance section to specify my speed. So I want a climb speed of 250. And the transition to up to 280. Climb mark of 0 0.68. And change this to perf. Next. Cruise at 0.7 mark. And change to perf. Descent. Descent to 40, 250, 0 0.65 mark. Change to perf. 
and here approach it doesn't take anything from the flight plan it's either automatic or it's performance i'm going to keep it at uh, automatic as um that gives you the best values for our land okay so um that's all we flight plan is done progress i need in a data radio navigation okay so on takeoff i want to track the uh, rid bor I, I had this planned out there it is so i'm gonna go to the rid bor i'm gonna put in rid here it gets the frequency and uh, for the ILS at Munich frequency and okay so we have just completed our flight planning I'm gonna take out the waypoints here okay so if you zoom out a bit you can see your flight plan here um okay so it's gonna get back to about article mile range for this thing okay so that's all yeah we just planned our flight um, all right uh, uh, auto arm setting I mean autopilot arming okay so so now we're not gonna turn on any autopilot we're just gonna arm it now for altitude I'm gonna put in our cruise altitude of 25,000 feet. If you're using a uh, performance managed by the uh, the flight plan, then you can click on this to go to manage mode. But for altitude, um, in the performance section, you have to put it in manually. So 25,000 feet. I want to climb at um, 2,500 feet per minute. Right, heading doesn't matter. I'm gonna be using the flight plan, so I'm gonna click on this to go to manage mode. And speed is also gonna be managed. So that's all. Um, okay then, we'll be starting up the aircraft in the next tutorial. And then we'll have different videos for different phases of the flight. Thank you for watching, and hope you enjoy the A330 240.